Hey guys, welcome back to a new workout video. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates video focused on the upper body. So really working those arms, those shoulders, the posture, and of course, the abs. I will be using two pound weights, but feel free to use anything you have at home. It can be light, it can be heavier. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start with a little stretch. So feet are hip wide apart and roll those shoulders in a big motion back. You know, we all like work behind laptops, <laughs> staring at our phones, so you just wanna like loosen up and really open up that chest. There we go. And to the other side, round and forward. I want you to really focus on that breath throughout the whole workout. Really inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Okay, stretch the arms long, grab your left arm and reach up and over. Don't let your upper body fall down, but keep the chest wide and open and really pull with that right arm, really lengthen to the left side. And hold four, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the middle, go two inches up, reach to the sky and reach over to the left side. Again, don't fall forward, keep the chest nice, wide and open. The neck is relaxed. Start the day with a big smile or maybe end. Amazing, there we go. Now I want you to fold your arms together in the back, chest is open and slowly roll forward and let those arms hang over the shoulders. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Let the arms fall down. Keep in this wide position. Grab with your right arm your left ankle and reach the left arm to the sky. Really reach and open up that chest. Feel that rotation. The whole upper body. Slowly come back to the middle. Grab your right ankle with your left arm and reach the right arm to the sky. Really open up that chest. Getting everything loose. Little warm up. Come back to the middle, bend those knees, slowly roll back up. There we go. Feeling warm, feeling ready. Cutting into our workout here, grab your, uh, your weights. Feet are a little further than hip wide apart. A really slight bend into the knee. Roll those shoulders back, pull those abdominals in. I want you to reach over to the side. So elbows come in and out. Keep the neck long. I don't want you to cringe them up right here. Keep that chest wide open. There we go. It's warming up those arms, warming up those shoulders. And every time you're coming in through the back, really squeeze those arms together in the back. There we go. And keep breathing right here. Warming up. Well, let's do this. I know it's almost like my least favorite upper body, but once you do it, Feels so good. Okay, there we go. Keep breathing. Warming up. Okay, feet come a little closer. I want you to do the right side. Left arm comes up. And while you're reaching the right arm up, your right leg reaches out too. It's really lengthening through the right side of that body. Neck is long and keep breathing. Feeling the warm up right here. No, I feel it. And meet in the middle to the other side. So the left leg reaches out and the left arm slowly moves up and down. Up and down. And really find your own pace here. Maybe you go a little slower, maybe you go a little faster. As long as the motion is slow and controlled. Controlled, really important. Out. And in. Okay, arms come in and front. I want to reach them into a V position. Shoulders are wide and come back in and out. Keep breathing. Neck is long, abdominals are in, shoulders are low. There we go, working those biceps. For 10. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Arms come in, 90 degree angle, opening and closing. And when you open here again, squeeze those shoulder blades together and come back. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back. Now bend the knees, bring your upper body a little low. Reach the arms in front of you. Again, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna do a rare deadlift right here and really squeeze those shoulder blades together and slowly come down. I want you to do this motion slow and controlled. Feel the tension also when you're going down. We're not only working up, so squeeze the shoulder blades and slowly come down. 10 more, 10. Keep breathing. Nine. Eight. Strengthening those shoulders. Seven. Slow and controlled. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, bring the arms in, in 90 degree angle. I want you to squeeze and extend the arms and really squeeze the triceps right here. And come back down, slow and controlled. Up, squeeze, and down, eight more. Eight, seven, the spine is long, the neck is long, six, Five, chest is open, eyes are in front of you. Four, up and squeeze. Three, two, and one. Hold up here, 10 little pulses up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back down, we're going to do this. Round here one more time. Bend the knees, arms come in front, palms are facing each other. Shoulders are wide. Open up those arms, squeeze the shoulder blades and come back down. 10 times. 10. Keep breathing. 9. Eight. This is a great exercise to strengthen those lats, strengthen those shoulders to really work on that posture of the upper body. Seven, six, keep breathing. Five, four, squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Great job, you guys. Two, and last one. Stand up quickly. Shake it out, come back to bent knees, arms in 90 degree angle, eyes are in front of you, neck is wrong. Take a deep inhale, exhale, extend the arm long and really squeeze those triceps right here. Arms come back in and out. And make sure those elbows are squeezing here on the side as well. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Arms are long, little circles inwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, feel that burn. Three, two, one, other side. 10, nine, eight, seven, shoulders are low. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the middle and shake it out. Okay, we're done with the standing series. We are going to do the floor 
work right now, incorporating a little bit more abs with the arms as well. And feel free, if you find it too hard or sometimes too challenging, to drop the weights. I'd rather you do the exercise slow and controlled without the weight than doing nothing or struggling with the weights and not doing it in the right way. Place the weights in front of you, arms and knees, go to all fours. I'm going to do a couple cat cows to stretch that spine. Breathe out. Coming to cat position, really push those shoulders out. Take a deep inhale on the exhale. And do this five times for me. Five. And just let your energy flow here. Do whatever feels good. Maybe you want to turn around a little, work that spine, move a little backwards. Do whatever feels good today. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Great job. Okay, come to the all fours. Now the spine is straight. The abdominals in. Grab your weight with your right arm and lift it up. Slowly lift the left leg off the ground. Now take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, I want you to extend that right arm and left leg long into this superman position. Really squeeze those glutes, squeeze those arms and squeeze those abdominals. Reach back in and reach out for 10. Focus on that breath. Nine, eight, doing great. Working on that balance, almost full body right here. Seven, six, keep it slow and controlled. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now reach the right arm to the back, bend in 90 degree angles. I don't know if you guys can see me, I'm gonna turn around quickly. Bend the right arm and extend it long. While you're keeping in this position, lengthen through the spine, squeeze up. Glute, squeeze the right tricep well. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ten little pulses right here. Ten, nine. Keep the leg lifted. If it's too much, leave it down and do the exercise like this. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring the weight down. We're going to the other side. And show it from here. Start in the middle on those all fours. Grab the weight with your left hand. Pull those abdominals in. Stabilize before. Find your balance before we're getting into it. Now slowly move your weight to the left side and lift the right leg up. Take a deep inhale through the nose and on the exhale, we're extending that left arm and that right leg long. Reaching back in and out. Squeeze that arm, squeeze the glute. Focus on that breath. Eight, slow and controlled. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Reach the left arm back and keep the right leg up. Bend the arm, tricep extension right here for 10, nine, arm or eyes are in front of you. Keep lengthening through that spine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ten little pulses right here with that arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Come back to the middle. Come into a deep child's pose. Lengthen those arms long. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Feel the stretch. Come to an all fours. Reach the left arm to the sky. Open up that chest right here. And slowly roll it back under that right shoulder. Extend the right arm long and feel the stretch in that upper body. Feel that rotation. Take a deep inhale and exhale through the mouth. And come back to the middle. Reach the right arm up, eyes to the ceiling. Really open up that chest and slowly roll it underneath and extend the left arm long. Feel the deep stretch. Inhale through the nose. Let your energy go. Exhale through the mouth. Proud of yourself doing today's workout. Taking care of yourself. We go. We're going to do a little push up series, always our favorite, um, so you can put the weights on the side. Okay, I want you to either do this on your knees or in a normal plank position. So we're coming back here and lengthen through that spine, pull those abdominals in, and the shoulders are wide. Eyes are in front of you. 10 push ups right here. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, arms are shaking, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Going to deep child's pose. Take a deep breath and come back. Extend the right leg long, extend the left leg long and keep this plank position. Lengthen through the spine, we're holding here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hips come into the air. Come to a downward facing dog. Walk it out for a second. Feel that deep hamstring and come back to plank position. Come back to downward facing dog. 10 times, so really squeeze those glutes together. Squeeze those abdominals. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, keep the motion slow and controlled. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Come back to a child's pose. Maybe roll those wrists a little round. We're doing 10 more final push-ups before we're getting into our ab series. Again, you can do this on the knee or into a plank position. So prepare, get into your position, pull the abdominals in, shoulders are wide, lengthen through that spine. We're taking a deep inhale through the nose, lowering down and then exhale, pushing back up. 10, nine, strong arms, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And come to a child's pose. <sighs> Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. 
slowly roll back up and come back to a seated position. I want you to put the feet hip wide apart. Knees are going to be on above the ankles. Your hands are facing towards your legs. Open up that chest and really press those heels into the ground. Eyes are in front of you. Take a deep inhale through the nose and on the exhale, we're rolling that butt up into a table position. And slowly roll back down and hover one inch above the ground. 10 times. 10 and really squeeze those arms here. Squeeze those glutes. Eight. Seven. Open up that chest. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come back down, hover above the ground. 10 times, little triceps. Push. 10, nine, keep the chest open, look in front of you. Eight, we're almost there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake out those arms, move those wrists, bring the hands on the knees, close those eyes, and slowly Move your head from side to side. Give your neck a little extra rest. Come back to the middle. Eyes are in front of you. We're getting into our ab series. Keep the weights near you. Heels are on the ground. The arms are folded behind your neck. Give a little extra support. Bring your right leg into tabletop and your left leg into tabletop. Now pull the abdominals in and try to use the abs throughout the whole exercise. Now I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, head, neck and shoulders come off the ground. I want you to open up that chest and reach that right armpit to your left knee. So not just the elbow, but actually that whole upper body. Come back to a neutral, other side. 10, slow and control, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back to the middle, keep the head, neck and shoulders up, elbows are wide, tap the toes down and up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Pull those abdominals in. Shoulders are a little above the ground. Four, three, two, and one. And roll back down. Grab your weights or no weights, really up to you. Bring the legs back into the tabletop. Reach the arms long. Take a deep inhale through the nose and on the exhale, I want you to extend the left leg wrong and your right arm long. Reach up for 10, nine, eight, pull those abdominals together, seven, six. Really feel an extension through the whole body. We're lengthening and strengthening all those muscles. This is how you can make the abs look visible by lengthening them out. Five, four, three, slow and controlled, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Meet in a neutral, shoulders are wide. Neck is relaxed, take a deep in and through the nose. On the exhale, reach the right arm, or the left arm and the right leg long, and come back in. 10, 
nine, eight, keep breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, I want you to bring both arms to the back while your legs open up and tap to the ground. For 10, I know it's a little bit coordination right here. Really opening up those legs and reaching the arms backwards. Seven, pull those abdominals in. Six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Come back to a neutral. Shoulders are wide and relax. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, bring the head and the shoulders up, lift it, and the arms are hovering above the ground. Now on the inhale, bring your right leg long and the little bicep curl. And to the other side, 10, squeeze those abs, eight, we're almost there, seven, six, five, four, feel free to drop the weight, two, and one. Come back to a hover and bring the head, neck and shoulders back to the ground. Almost last exercise. We go into our bicycles, bring the head, neck and shoulders behind the head. Take a deep inhale through the nose. On the exhale, bring the head, neck and shoulders up and reach the right arm through your left knee and come into your bicycles for 10, nine. Really rotate that upper body, eight, seven, Six, five, feel those at burn. Three, two, and one. Okay, 10 times super fast. It barely happens in Pilates. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. One, head, neck and shoulders come down to the mat, reach the legs long. I want you to put the legs down, open up and come back. Last exercise right here. 10, nine, you can put your arms underneath your back for some extra support. Eight, heels come down and open up the legs. Seven, six, five, feel those abdominals. Four, three, two, and one. There we go. Guys are all done. Bring your arms into 90 degree into a cactus or open up that chest and let your legs fall over to the left side of your body. And look over to the left, feel that rotation. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Come back to the middle. The legs fall down to the left. Look over to the right, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And come back. Bring your knee towards your chest and roll up a couple times, really lengthening or stretching the chest. And roll over to the left, bring yourself up. 
and you guys are all done with today's workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to follow along on Wellness Month this month. There will be a ton of content all around like healthy nutrition, amazing workouts, mindfulness, and also recovery. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys very soon.